Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. If your video is about to start shortly, please take this opportunity to hit the like button down below, leave some comments, tell your friends. Interaction, likes, subscriptions help my channel to grow and help me to keep producing content for yourselves. If you're new to my channel, check out the other videos that I've got. There are over 500 videos at this stage, so there should be something there for everybody. Again, video is about to start. Hit that like button down below. Okay, guys, uh, so we're going to tie a little bait fish tonight. Uh, so the idea for this one came from a request to tie something for uh, perch, big perch. Uh, so what we're going to tie is something in the sort of four inch region. Uh, and this is a 1O Sukuma uh, Manta Top Gun which is a nice sort of short, uh, sharp, strong hook, but uh, basically scale it to whatever hook suits yourself. But I, I think that uh, shortish hooks are, are best suited for this. Uh, and we're going to tie on gel spun because depends what you're after, I suppose. But like I said, th this thing could be used for, for perch, for pike, and probably for big trout as well. If you have... Uh, Right on fry. So super glued the wrappings and then went back over it and the idea there is just to get a good solid base to tie the fly on. Uh, so for the core of the fly I'm going to use a little bit of Lure Flash uh, Mobile, Silver Mobile. So I'm going to pull out some strands of that. And then that's going to form the core of the tail. So I fold that bunch back over on itself and cut it across its middle. A little bit of a pull. I want a little bit of misalignment at the tip here. And then we're going to set this on, measure it out to whatever length we want it to be, so say four inches or so. And then tighten that down and flip this back on itself. I'll glue my thread a little bit and just wrap a dam back up into that. So, um, in the pike sized flies, you've seen us use. Uh, bucktail to create the skirt. Uh, so in this one what we're going to do is use a hackle because it's a much smaller fly. So we're going to take, uh, in this case I'm going to use a grizzle hackle but uh, just you could use a red one I suppose to give an idea of some sort of uh, fins or whatever in the center of it. So I'm just going to wrap a few turns Of the hackle and that'll give us a little bit of a, a body or a support in the center of the fly. I'm just going to bind that down and trim it off. So this just gives us a little bit of support to kick out the, uh, the flash material that we're going to use for the body. So for this I have a mix uh, that I've made and the mix uh, is there's a fine silver in it, there's a flat silver, there's a holographic silver and there's also a sort of a fine pearl in there. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to measure this out to be the sort of bulk length of it. Take that forward a bit and trim that off. And then I'm going to take my other bunch and lay that on. Now it's a shorter bunch then. I'm going to lay that on top of it. Set this on at about two thirds of its length. I'm going to pull a few of the fibers forward just to misalign it. Put on a loose wrap and allow that so that it displays all around. You 
can see we have that sort of bait fish kind of profile to it already. Tighten that down. the thread a little bit. Wrap that and then we're going to fold this back on itself. So the idea is that this, because it's a little bit shorter, it adds to this teardrop or fish profile. Let me see. Take our tie and thread to the front of it. And then I want to put a little Lab of super glue just around the base of it, and then I'm going to put a big straw on it and squeeze it flat. So that'll give me the height to it and that sort of fish profile. It'll set the bases of these in, in position, hopefully. fish shape. So I suppose you could even finish it at that and just call it like a sparkler of some description. But uh, what I'm going to do is put in uh, fins, red fins, and for that I'm using a bit of red craft fur. I'm going to cut a bunch of that out. Pull out the very short stuff. instance I'm actually going to shorten this take the whole lot and sort of pull it past each other that again misaligns the two ends of it set it on the side tie it in halfway along its length pull the other the rear end of it across to the far side tie over that so you can see we have our uh, how would you put it it's like a, a suggestion of fins a suggestion of gills super glue and wrap back onto that and then we'll do a two-tone head so for the under bit I'm going to use this silver grey craft fur Take a bunch of that, hold it about halfway along its length and get rid of the very short stuff. Uh, and then what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to uh, pull the butt sections back a little bit, just nip bits of it so again it misaligns the butt section of it. Because I don't want a square cut end on that and I'm going to set this back maybe a third of its length or so and that's also going to help to build the uh, the taper at the front of it a little bit top of the head then we're going to use a darker grey same process Rid of the rubbish, pull some of the butts back a little bit so that it's not like a fake looking square end and the same thing set that on and tie it in about a third or so the way along its length fold all this back. You just want to separate it out a little bit and then flip it back on itself. Top and underneath. And the idea here is that you should be able to see probably a little bit of the red still poking through that if we can. I'm pulling it all back and when I'm happy with it 
I'll just set it in place with the, the super glue. Now we only want a little bit just so that it seeps into the very start of the fold of the materials. And then we'll take a big straw, put that on and just squeeze it. And you just squeeze it for a second, you'll feel it start to heat up, but obviously because we've got the straw on the way it's not going to glue our fingers to it. And then remove that. So that will have set a sort of a flat shape which will accept the eyes for us. And you can see we have this little mini bait fish. So just like the size of my finger. If there's any bits that are a little bit too long or a little bit don't fit in where they are, you can just Trim it back a little bit, just to maintain that shape. And now what we need to do is to allow that uh, to dry, so that we can add the uh, head and eyes. So we'll give it a second, set it aside. back to it when it has dried. So our uh, glue has dried off so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush out the uh, craft fur and the fly itself. And you can see the mobility in this. So we're going to add eyes to it. So for this I'm going to use uh, little red 3D eyes. These ones are probably a 5 mil, I would think. But if you tied the fly a little bit later, or if you want smaller eyes then you can use something like a 3 mil. And for this I'm going to use my two-part five-minute epoxy. So I just squeeze a little bit of that out onto my post-it. Put the cap back on. And I'm going to add a little bit of silver glitter into that. And using a cocktail stick I'm just going to mix the two together. Stir them together. The glitter actually gives you a good idea of when the whole thing is properly mixed. It's evenly distributed through it. So then I'll take a little bleb of it here on our cocktail stick. Bleb on the side. Bleb on the far side and we're just trying to get the whole sort of bleb of glue or of epoxy uh, continuous to get it to join up. And then when I am happy enough with that then I'll just add a little bit more to the side on this side. And then we'll take our eyes and I'm just going to dip the back edge into it slightly and then just slide it back and press it in. Try not to touch the glue with your fingers if you can help it. It's a messy job. Slide it back, touch it and you, you might be able to see it sort of bulging up so the little bleb of of uh, epoxy that we set on the side when you push the eye into it it will force it both up and down and then if we have that already joined um, 
like we're saying we, we created that sort of almost complete bleb once you've done that and this you press the sides in it'll fold up and it'll create like a nice shaped dome top and bottom for you and you shouldn't have to do too much more finishing at it so that is the flight I just needs to dry so I'm going to stick that in a rotary dryer but uh, hopefully you'll agree that it's a, a nice little uh, snack sized version of some of the pike flies that we've tied before uh, and that it, uh, it should attract a big stripey girl or possibly a, a big trout so hopefully you like what you see if you did give us a like subscribe uh, check out all the other videos on the channel tell your friends uh, and until next time tight lines thanks for watching